we are so excited. I am so excited. I think Pink is probably one of the most inspirational artists out there, particularly for me as somebody who is a mum working in music. And she just kind of, I mean, she's been doing it for 25 yeah, she's, years. She's, yeah. I remember her coming out. She started so, really young. She was just amazing. And I've never seen her in concert, but she's coming to do Hyde Park. She's doing her summer carnival. Now, if you've watched her documentary, which is fantastic, you should watch it. It's all about her um, touring with her family um, in Europe and doing her big, you know, when, have you heard about Pink Shows, Mum? Is she on the trapeze? She's on the trapeze. She's singing upside down. Mm. She's doing twil- twirls in the air while upside singing. Down. It makes... I mean, it is. It makes my stomach kind of go funny. Does she know where Clapham is, even in her. I don't know. She's probably in only her, in her, central her, London, isn't yeah, she? She. Her she mom didn't know that Pink is Jewish, and so really when we upset. saw her Instagram last night that said that she'd had Kugel, which was her mum's mom was maiden like, Why name. Why didn't you tell me? Her I would have done the maiden chicken name. Soup. Yeah. We are honoured to be having this star in our living room. And I'm just going to say one thing. She's coming up, so we'd better get this party started now. Oh, <laughs> yeah! <laughs> we have Pink here in Clapham looking just how I expected her to, to look. <laughs> you, you, she's here, you're in the flesh. The quiff's there. You're rock and roll. You've walked in, you've hugged everybody. Everyone loves you. You smell uh, great oh, and you're here. I smell great. Yeah. I worked on that. <laughs> um, how is London so far? I know you've had a full day and I'm sorry. I'm so happy. Are you kidding well, hopefully me? Hopefully you can relax. It's and... not often I get to go to someone's home in I'm London. And drink wine. <laughs> and drink wine and get cooked for. This is amazing. I'm good. I landed yesterday. There was a, The flight was easy. The seat was comfortable. It's the first time I've been away from my kids in a very, 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 very long time. How did that feel? I woke up this morning and my first thought was, where am I? And my second thought was... I might have a panic attack because I'm not used to being away from my children. So you didn't... Which proves the codependency is real. So, hang on. Now I feel slightly guilty that when I was in South America away from them, I woke up and thought, I can have a little fart in bed and then I'm going to watch a bit of Netflix. (laughs) (laughs) And then I'm going to go to the gym and I'm not... I'm going to... I don't know how to function without them. Really? Yeah, we're just like... We just move through the world together. But, and that's what I saw in the documentary. Yeah. But there was that I'm fine. beautiful... <laughs> but we'll drink through I it. Ca- well, I can bring some of my kids. Were... You can put them to bed if they're, you want. They're sick right now, too. So oh, I, I was okay, caring that's for them all week. That's really And then hard. I left them with Dad. And I'm like, God bless us all. I hope this goes well. Are they feeling a bit better today? Yeah, they're getting better. Yeah, or just I wouldn't have come. or yeah. noro or yeah, something. It, I don't know. They're, they're just little Petri dishes. They really are. And you know what? It's that thing. It's like a domino where one gets one. You oh, go, yeah. right, I've got to wake another week and then the next yep. one will be going. And out. when I'm on tour, I'm like, oh, cool. So I'm not singing in five days. Awesome. That's what I found. The documentary, which I just told you I adored and I aspire to have that level of touring where we're not all... Well, I mean, I tried to take in my daughter at 18 months and she had like the star room. And I was in the bunk, which is fine. <laughs> yeah, like, I know First that. time having a yep, star room. I know that. And my 18 month old just got it with my husband. <laughs> I know that. But I thought it just, you looked like you were having, I, no doubt it was so hard. And there was a bit where Jameson got sick mm-hmm. and you were like on the phone to the doctor and you had like a gig the next day. But you still, still yeah. would of course prefer them to, did you always tour in the summer so that they can be there? Because it's like summer holidays. No, they've always had tutors. Okay. When I'm on tour, they're homeschooled. Yeah, I mean, we've always just gone together, and it's you, no one wants to hear me complain, but touring as a mom is it's impossible. It's absolutely impossible. It's not even a good idea, but we do it because it's yeah. what we're going to do. Yeah. And I've had to explain to the, no offense, but I've had to explain to the men many times that, you know, mostly, and not always, not always, because me- there are single dads out there, um, but they go to work and close the door behind them and then don't think about their kids until they're home. And for me, I, it's all I think about. Like there's no door that I walk through. They just, I literally can't even go to the bathroom alone. Like they, they're just, they sleep in my bed still. How old's your youngest? Six. They still sleep in my bed. Really? And yeah, we're just. Jesse wouldn't have that, would you, darling? I don't know. 
I love it. But I'm a worrier, so it's easier to just reach over and take their temperature with my hand than it is to have to get up out of bed, go to their room. We put Willow in her room when she was three, and Carrie and I looked at each other, and I was like, and he goes, you should go get her. I'm like, I'll go get her. This was a terrible idea. She's so far away. And then she's closer to the front door. If someone were to come in, they would hit her room first. I'm like, oh <laughs> my God. Are yeah, you no. Jewish? This is what, yeah, I'm Jewish. Oh yeah. Do you have a mirror by her breath? To I make used sure to. She's breathing. Yeah. I used to. Yep. I used to like pray over this girl when she was a baby. I actually have a really weird story if you want to hear it. Of course okay, I do. Okay, so I think in hindsight I had postpartum. Right, okay. And it sort of, to me, felt like you're under, you don't realize you're under a cloud until the sun starts shining. That's how I describe it. And I was so, I had never known love like that. I'd never known real, real love until you become a a mom. And I was so afraid of losing her, like crazy afraid, psychotic kind of afraid, just not normal afraid. I don't know what normal is, but I would pray and tell God, like, take me a thousand times before you take her. Like, just... Please let her be okay. Please how, let her be okay. How old was she at this point? A baby. Okay. I was really afraid of SIDS, which is sudden infant death sin. Like mm-hmm. all these things. My mind was just, and I, I, I would like to be able to excuse it as postpartum. I don't know. Then I'm touring. She's 14 months old. We've been on the road for about five months. Um, I'm exhausted. I haven't slept. I didn't sleep the first 14 months of her life. I go to my my girls, my band and dancers, my women. Who've been with you for a very long forever. time. Yeah. I haven't told anybody this. I, I'm completely ashamed of my of what I'm doing at night. That I'm staying. I'm not sleeping. And um, one by one, the women of my crew come to me and say, "There's this card reader in Adelaide, Australia. You have to go and see her." And I was like, "Yeah, yeah, yeah, whatever." So I go, and it's literally like the movie Ghost. It's, you're in, like you're in, you go in a crystal shop in this strip mall, and then you go about down the back stairs, and you're in a tap warehouse and you think Whoopi Goldberg's gonna come out from behind the sheets <laughs> like put a penny up the wall but this little Australian lady comes out and and she's shuffling the cards and she puts them down and she says I just want to tell you I know who you are I'm not gonna give you a card and say I see a microphone I know <laughs> she's like here's what I know about you because I don't listen to popular music so I don't know your songs but I know that you're a singer I know that you're on the road, I know that your band and dancers have all been to see me and I know that they love you very much. And I know that you have a child and that's what I know about you. I was like, great, thank you. Then she shuffles the cards again and she puts them down and I swear to you, the mohawk on the back of my neck went up and she said, that praying you've been doing over your daughter Willow, I can explain it if you'd like. And I was like, God, what? And she goes, do you believe in reincarnation? I said, yes, actually I do. And she said, well, you and Willow's lifetimes go back to Celtic times together, like 16,000 lifetimes together or something. She said, so in some of those lives, you've lost each other and sometimes tragically. She's like, so that's what you're feeling. She's like, I can't tell you about the next one, but I can tell you for this one, you can put that down. For this one, you're like puppies and it's a joyous coming back together and... For this one, it's going to be okay. And I literally, like, I was dehydrated from crying. And I took the invisible elephant off my shoulders and put it down. And she goes, is there anything else I can do for you? I was like, no. And I walked out of there a different parent. I knew in the marrow of my bones that what she was telling me was true. I believed it to be true. And so it, it just changed everything. I have a little more faith in the universe now. Have you been to see her again? No. I Would you to... ever? Just oh, absolutely. I might go. See if there's a rich husband there. <laughs> <laughs> way to lighten up way to lighten things up thanks Mom. how old's willow now? 11 and do you go to synagogue temple no are no. you religious we just, not really i don't i don't we practice like we light the candles for hanukkah and i sell i cook the meals and we celebrate certain things we celebrate christmas i'll celebrate literally anything <laughs> yeah we, we <laughs> anything too. i love lighting the candles and singing the songs and cooking the well, food and making challah and all that but i don't actually believe in organized religion i believe in spirituality and god and the universe and whatever that means but i just don't believe that one group is right and everybody else is wrong so how were you brought up jewish like within your family just your that mother... hanukkah okay that's it hanukkah my mom's parents disowned her for marrying a catholic oh. and my dad was a catholic atheist who went to vietnam and and went to catholic school and says the nuns prepared him for vietnam so my house was just we were wild um, and let's talk about that wild house 
full of lots of different beliefs and full of kugels. And kugels. <laughs> full of kugels and matzo ball soup. Oh, was it so was it good. good eating? Oh yeah. What's a really memorable dish from your like who was cooking? <laughs> okay, if my dad cooked, yeah. it would be spaghetti with bacon bits on top. Was it delicious? What, like the ones that you got in like the cartons, yeah, like the bacon bits? Yes. Oh, not carbonara. <laughs> no, but you're getting like, them in like Pizza Hut. Like you put them oh, on the your dry the salad bar. Dried, tasty. Huh? I mean, delicious. Yeah. And God bless him. He tried. But what, like a kind of I a carbonara? Up on, yeah, like a <laughs> marinara. Okay, no, got it. Okay, it's got not it. carbonara. No, <laughs> it's not. Okay. Um, I grew up on TV dinners, like the microwavable frozen t- Stouffer's TV dinners. Did you love them? No, no, you can't love paper mashed potatoes mm. and frozen corn. Were your parents working? Yes, and going to school. Well, well, yes, my parents both worked, and then my mom went to school at night. What well, did she study? She was an ER nurse, and she went to nurse back to school to. Uh, that's a great question. I've never asked her what she was doing. Well, Not she's exactly. learning how to be a nurse. She was. She was already a nurse, but she was. I think she was just trying to move up a level. And then she was a single mom from when I was eight. When did your dad leave? When I was eight. Yeah. Was that tough? Oh, yeah. My dad was my person. Oh. He was my everything. Yeah. He was like, he was God to me. Yeah. Are you, st- are you, is he? He right? passed a year and a half ago. Oh, I'm, I'm so sorry. sorry. It's okay. It's okay. You do, you do a lot of cooking with I James. Do. I do a lot. I I've cook. seen it on yes. Instagram. Yes. Yes. So is he the chef? No. <laughs> he likes to help. Yeah. Willow is actually thinking about being a chef. Oh, although she won't crack an egg. So I'm like, I don't know. Oh, you, I don't think you're going to be I don't want to get good. their hands messy. I know. <laughs> I'm like, babes, you're going to have to, yeah. Yeah. I was like, get your hands in there. It's meatloaf. She's like, mm, ah, that's a hard no. But Willow, <laughs> I mean, both your children, from what I understand of them, they're very talented. I mean, I think so. But of course, but like they're, 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 they, they've kind of taken on. Like, how proud are you? No, but I mean, you know, but she's got a son that's a doctor. So I really like, come on. That oh, that's beats, a Jewish that, mother's dream. That, that actually eclipses <laughs> Jesse's achievements. My mom still wants me to leave my husband and marry a Jewish mother. Yeah, doctor. of course they do. <laughs> Who doesn't? So that's 17 years in. Um, but, you know, Willow sings. She beautifully. sings beautifully. Does that terrify you? No, she sits next to me on the way to school and just, it's so effortless with her. I never sounded that good when I was her age. Ever. I still I don't, don't believe, sound that I don't good. I you. promise you. My voice is a culmination of just hitting the pavement and learning how to be a live performer. But her voice is like, she's like a little bird. It's just effortless. And she doesn't care at all. She's not into it. Like, she just does it because she likes to do it but people ask her are you going to be a singer and she's like oh god no and I'm like first of all why do you have to say it like that (laughs) is she bright oh yeah she's a straight A student so what would you want for her I want her to be a lawyer for the ACLU so she can change the world and then bail her brother out of jail Because he's not Cause going he's, that he's same direction. Be a, he's okay. he's going to be a DJ in He's going to be... Because... <laughs> well, he'll do all right. He'll make a lot of money. He'll be fine. I don't he'll actually know what he's going to do, but he is a comedian. But but I think I watched the wrong... Doc- Jesse said there's this amazing documentary about think Pink, and I think I watched the wrong documentary. Because <laughs> you hated it? I didn't no, know you had so many documentaries. No, I didn't either. I two kind of stylists from London... And one that, and he talked about, um, it was made in 2013. Not wrong. It was no, just different. It, wasn't, no, it was different, it. but it <laughs> talked about <laughs> you being a handful. I've never heard of, of it. growing up. What was your mum Was your mum? Yeah, that you were, you were. This is not the documentary is, that I, I saw on Amazon Pie. Where the fuck did you get this, night. mum? I watched it last night. Don't well, me? anyway. Oh, I need to see this. Yeah. So, I was a total handful. Yeah. I'm still a handful. Are you? I'm two handfuls. Who has to handle you now? Carrie. Oh, Carrie, man. I love you. I know love what? the look he's of... Fine. He's fine. He's, <laughs> he's fine. He's doing all right. He's well, I wanna, all right. I want to come back as Carrie Hart. <laughs> Dude doesn't know where the trash goes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, see, you know what? That's amazing because, um, yeah, I, I'm, I'm obsessed. Right. I'd like to know. He's pretty. He's, he's, he's uh, very he's, pretty. He's, he's gorgeous. Oh, he looks, yes. And I he, told and him, he, I said. And he rides fast. Yeah, he rides fast. And he's, I mean, in the documentary, he came across as a fantastic father. Of course he did. He yeah. was a fantastic <laughs> father. Pink staying true. 
Never that, heard of oh it. Oh my god, Mum, that what is you so I don't know. It funny. Says, pop music That's... icon Pink recalls her life. Rise to fame. Ch- had no- I had nothing to do with it. Okay. But I love that they said I was a handful. Of course I was. Yeah. But it was two very stri- unusual women that were talking. What, One was what, a stylist. Well, I was gonna, I, God, get the lawyers quickly! <laughs> that is so funny. But that's the one I was on I'm Netflix. Gonna have to watch that. <laughs> oh my well, God, no, there's um, you look Amazon good. Prime. Yeah, that was my real dumb. Oh, which is fantastic. No, I didn't. Sam did. Well, Sam, he's again. He's stupid. Yeah. But can I just tell you, it, you look gorgeous. <laughs> Thanks. That's gonna be your. Uh, can we like watch this you documentary? Look, you look fabulous. Your hair. Does it? What do you use on the top? Olaplex. Lola Lola Plex. Plex. Yeah. That's so what I good. Need. That's it. I need Olaplex. That's it. Yeah, it's good. You've got great hair. Yeah, always looks good. I have Jufro. I have like if that's why have I you? keep the sides short because if uh, I had this much hair, it would be a hot mess. Let's talk about the new song that's with Fred. You, you made it with Fred. Yes. Fred again. We have to call him, but it's yes. Fred. Um, gorgeous Fred. And who was the other person that was Johnny in? McDade from Snow Patrol. Oh, who's so lovely. Yeah. Who I did uh, What with, About Us with. Is he uh, the one that goes out with a lady Oh, yes, from he's also Friends. a very uh, yeah, talented songwriter so mother. I Snow Patrol. She likes a little bit Cece. of goss. Courtney Cox, yes. Yeah. She's a, you she's know, Daily a Mail lovely human. And he is a delicious human. And Fred again is a delicious human. D- was it fun I'm writing the song? very lucky. They're very dreamy. Yeah. They're talented. They're all dreamy. You're talented. Yeah, but they're the kind of men that like are open about their feelings and they're affectionate with each other. And it's just oh, it's so nice to be around. It was a good 24 hours, I think. I mean, it could have been better. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, I'm married. <laughs> oh, it's You've been shopping. married 100 years. I know, and I've never cheated. Have you not? Not ever. Have you, Jess? No. Of course I've been not. with, I, I'm coming up to 20 years with my husband. Oh, yeah. But not years of marriage. We got married, but like No, I've years. been with Carrie 21 years. Oh, Marriage this, is long, you, you guys. You know what I got sent today for <laughs> Valentine's? Jurek sent me a vibrator. I think I'm going to have a very happy Valentine's. Oh, wow, good I know. for you. I'm more than I'm going to get off bold. my husband. I know. WebMD wished me a happy birthday. But they didn't give you a vibrator. <laughs> they didn't give me a vibrator. I was like, how do they know my birthday? Oh, because I check WebMD a lot. <laughs> I'm a hypochondriac. <laughs> Are you? Yeah. Are you? Oh, if it can go but wrong, think, it's going to go terribly. I think really? of you as like this. You go no, up I on a bloody you're... trapeze and I you know. sit you upside down. You're a very down. powerful person. Thank you. I'm, uh, yeah, but I'm also very, very flawed and human. And I'm, I fear, like, I don't believe in being fearless. I believe in having fear and then pushing through it and doing the thing anyway. As long as fear doesn't make your decisions for you, then you're okay. Is this what trust falls about? Yeah. Yeah, trust fall is absolutely about living with immense fear. And I think if you're a person that lives in 2023, there's a lot to be afraid of. Mm. And I know a lot of kids and they all have anxiety now. And it's it's really, I'm very into psychology and I've been in therapy for 20 some years. So I'm super into the way the mind works and all of that and the science of it. And Yeah, I'm like, trust falls, like me saying, and there's another uh, song on the album called Turbulence, which is basically me talking my daughter through a panic attack. And it's, it's like, as scary as it gets, remember, it's just turbulence. You know, close your eyes, pretend you're driving on a bumpy road at night. Like, it's just, and then my favorite line in that song is, when you say that you can't, I will watch you dance through this turbulence. Because it's not about denying all the things that are really happening in the world. But you're going to be there to support her. But I'm going to be there to support her, and I'm also going to take the leap myself. I'm going to I'm going to get out of bed in the morning, and I'm going to put one foot in front of the other, and I'm going to love, and I'm going to laugh, I'm going to dance. I'm also going to worry. I'm going to drop you off at school. I'm going to hope for the best. And then we're going to tour through the world after a pandemic. Like, you know, shit is crazy. Pandemic was something, wasn't, wasn't it? Wasn't that Where fun? were you? And then monkeypox. Oh, well, People we... started saying, how are you? I'm like, well, I mean monkeypox. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> so, but you are. Aren't we, we all just fine? We're yeah. fine, but, aren't we? But you are. Cheers. Cu- you cheers. Yeah. <laughs> you are. You are. I've got to remember, I but, am driving, so yeah. I need to rein uh, it in in a minute. But, but I you have, don't. I have decided. I've always moaned about getting old. Because it's very hard when you're young and gorgeous to get old. 
and I've just decided You're silly, getting old. Gorgeous. No, getting old's a privilege. It is a blessing. It's actually I agree a privilege. With you. I'm not ever going to moan about it. I've got friends I, that have I'm gone. I'm coming around yeah. to give you a hug. Too. <laughs> I say that to people every year it on their birthday. Pri- it is a privilege to get old, isn't it? That's an absolute yeah. blessing. And people that don't want to celebrate their birthday or talk about how old they are, I'm like, dude, you're lucky. Yeah, you I are. I lost my friend Seku when he was 17 years old. You're lucky. You're lucky it's to be true. 43. Yeah, it's I love true. that. My yeah. mom's 76, and I'm like, happy birthday. Wow, you did it. Where does she live now? She lives in Florida, because she's like every East she Coast needs, Jew. She, she's, <laughs> she needs a son. I know she, exactly what Well, we're she from needs. Pennsylvania, and she's like, Ugh, like No, don't do want to live anymore. there. Mom, and now it's, it's so hot. I love like, sun. Shut oh. up, Judy. <laughs> Can Judy sing? No. See, my mom my... goes to piano bars and drinks gin and tonics and sings, you got the right key, but the wrong keyhole. <laughs> Baby, your key don't fit my lock no more. I love and I'm Judy. Like, She's upside down on a piano. Oh, I, I can see her, her. nipple. <laughs> <laughs> the first time she Judy. met my husband, who was not my husband at the time, we'd been dating a month. I took him to the piano bar where she was at and she literally grabbed his shirt and put it up around his head, turned him around and grabbed his ass and said, you got a good one. I'm like, oh my God, this is my mom. Oh Carrie. my word. And he's still with you. What was the food at your wedding? That's a great question. Can you remember? Did you eat any of it? No recollection. Where did you dinner. get <laughs> Where did you get married? Where were you married? Costa Rica. Oh, nice. Yeah. Nice. Well, I don't know if you can curse on your show, oh. but... Yeah, and you don't want to come in your home yeah, absolutely. And, and say a it, it's bad, got bad, bad, bad it. word. It's yeah. got, don't worry. Okay, but uh, my dad walked me down the aisle, and we used to smoke. Uh, and we were standing up. It was on the beach, and Carrie was on the beach in a full suit, sweating. Schwitzing, Wasn't yeah. sure if he was sweating because he was hot or because no. he was worried about his <laughs> life decisions. But my dad, I was like, oh, God, he's been standing there for 15 minutes. And I start putting my cigarette out, and my dad pulls another cigarette out of his pack and puts it in my mouth. And lights it and says, that motherfucker can wait. <laughs> and I was like, Dad? Okay. <laughs> He's got the right idea. <laughs> I was like, you're a gangster. Treat him mean, keep him keen, hey? <laughs> oh, I, I need yeah. to know what your children's parties are like. I need to know whether it's just this rock we and have roll a the really whole time. Good fun. We have a really good time. Willow and I have such an open, fun, really, like, in an hour, I'm going to call her on FaceTime and we're going to read our book together. She's just darling. She's so sweet. And he's just an idiot. <laughs> like, I, I, in a good way. I love my kid. He knows that I say that lovingly. But I call him and I'm like, hey, man. He's like, hey, sup? I'm like, um, how's your day? Good. How do you feel? How's your cough? Good. Uh, what are you doing? Dance break. I'm like, okay. Just pass the phone. I need Willow. <laughs> I need Willow. Willow, talk to me about your feelings. <laughs> Do you think you'll have any more? I wish. I would adopt 80,000 children if I could. Um, I don't think they'd give them to me. <laughs> I have a past. I... <laughs> uh, honestly, people have never been so excited about hearing that we've got you in class. I know. Aww. I must have about 20 people. Petra from Nordic Balance said, <laughs> I can't believe you've got her. I can't believe it. Aww. What was going on? It's so fun. I loved, I was, we talked last night about the most thing, the thing we were most excited about today. And it was this. I was like, I can't wait to go to a home in London because I'm not away. I'm not home. Would you like some food? Sure. Thank you. I, um, am I allowed to call you? What do people call you? Everything. I answer to anything. I've been called a lot of things too. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> I'm now, like, yep, that's also right, true. So let me just tell you what I've made. Okay. okay. Because it's we accidental. Up with a pink meal. Oh, this was accidental. salmon because you wanted salmon. I love salmon. Right, so I've done salmon with salsa verde and very salty oh potatoes God. that are these shrivelly up Thank potatoes. You. They sound sad, but yeah, they're actually they're quite, well, hopefully they're quite delicious. They're kind of like, have you ever been to the Canary Islands? No. And had a wrinkly potato? No. That's what you're getting. Um, (laughs) So we're having that, and then followed by a raspberry and champagne pink posset. Raspberry. Have you ever had a posset? Posset, no. 
it's like a creamy, delicious thing. And mum's put a little love heart on the Aww. top with freeze-dried. I mean, you know, happy this Valentine's. Is, I am so um, spoiled. No, we are spoiled to have I was you. trying to make a grilled cheese. I make homemade sourdough. And I was trying to make Willow her favorite sandwich, a grilled cheese sourdough. And I took the bread knife and went straight down underneath Ow. my beautiful nail. No. Had to go to the hospital and they didn't even have... They didn't you even went have to the, the hospital. I went to the it. hospital and they wouldn't even give me a stitch. And my husband drove me and I was like, you better give me a stitch. Just so I make it worth my while. <laughs> yes. So that's the hyper... No, it hurt. It was hurting. It hurt. I thought my finger was going to fall. Oh, yeah, yeah. I just hit a band-aid. Jess, have you dressed the salad? <laughs> I dressed the salad, but it's very lightly Why dressed. Why do we say that? Where does that come from? Dressing dressed the salad. The salad. I know, it's so over the top, isn't it? <laughs> It's really over I, wanna, I love knowing where things come from. So so you, you make sourdough. Was that a lockdown thing that started? Yes, absolutely. And you've kept it going. You're... My starter is three years old. What's its name? Quarantina. Quarantina. <laughs> Pink, do you like salsa birding? Sure. Do you want me to call you Alicia? You can call me anything you like. What whatever. I, I mean, am... in my heart of hearts, I want to be able to say that I can be like, oh, me and Alicia hang, yeah, hung out. Yeah, I can be Alicia. I'm Alicia. That I is... never felt like an Alicia until I became a mom. It's a very strange thing. So what do the parents at school call you? Alicia. Okay. Or Mrs. Hart. Right. People don't really, I mean, do we ever call each other by our names? It's like Willow's mum, in it? Like, what's up, bruh? <laughs> yeah, hi, babe. <laughs> right, mate. That's really good, but you can't yeah. remember somebody's name. You're, hi, babe. Oh, yeah. Hi, babe. Um, so you make sourdough. Yes. You obviously make, a, a, you're, you're a gifted I, human. I cook. You're a good cook. Cook every night. So if we were coming round to yours. Mm-hmm. What would we be eating? Mm. I would, would ask you what you eat first. Everything. Everybody's nuts. Everything. That we looks beautiful. You know what? I love peas on a salad. Okay. Thank God I did it right at the nick of time, Mum. Um, so I would make you a farro salad. Okay, lovely. Um, it's my it's recipe from my favorite restaurant in New York, Which Charlie one? Bird. Oh, I haven't been. It's the farro salad. It's an Italian wine list. Farro salad is my favorite. Okay, it's delicious. Lovely. I would make you. Maybe some shoyu chicken, if you like that. Ooh. Or some salmon, because I make damn good salmon. Oh, shit. Okay, no pressure, <laughs> Mum. How do you make your salmon? I pan sear it. Okay. Okay, so... This wasn't pan Thank seared. Thank you so Let's see much. If it works. I like it all. Okay. I like Great. it all. So, this is... Okay, so you're making an effort. Are you a pudding kind of person? I mean, a dessert person? <laughs> we don't say... you. Yeah, you've been here long enough that you, you know. So Thanks, Mum. Uh, I... And more of like a salt Darling person. Is okay. Thank you. Salt and carbs. Salt and carbs. Like I would rather have the cheese and the wine or the beer than the dessert. Me too. Me too. But you're gonna have to have some pink. I'm posset gonna have tonight. some pink posset. <laughs> I like posset. It's an English thing. I, posset. I know. Do I, they have it in the? In my the... our nanny is English. Um, was uh, she passed away eight months oh, after my dad? No, it's oh been a rough, it's been a rough oh, couple shit. of years. But she uh, was always asking me for black pudding, and I said that no, I'm not. Did you never try it? No, I've never tried it because I. You don't eat. Pork? I don't eat meat. You don't eat meat. Do you eat chicken? I, I eat though? chicken. Okay. Just not four legged. Okay. I haven't eaten four legged animal since I was 15 years old. Right. Okay. Because my first managers were Just Orthodox Muslim, and so they wouldn't eat pork, and I was broke, like homeless broke, and they always made salmon, so I. Love salmon. Well, let's up? hope this works. Um, and it's okay, so you're making that. So you just do a cheese board for this, the end? We, Americans have cheese boards at the beginning of the meal. <sighs> yeah, we put it out in the middle of the day. Darling, help to yourself. To sweat. Thank you. It's very interesting, isn't it? I'm getting some of this. This yeah, looks do. so good. Do it. Excuse me, microphone. Those um, are salty potatoes. Thank you. My daughter told me how to make I don't know. You better taste them. What I don't do know if the, the juice so was yummy. worth the squeeze. Mm -hmm. no, no, salty potato. Okay. <laughs> she likes salty carbs, so she's sorted. I mean, I'm good. I'm happy. So we also ask our guests what mm -hmm. their last supper would be. So you can, oh, you, can talk, you can you can think about this whilst we can eat. Can I just bury my face in a cheese, yeah. in a cheesecake? And a cheesecake. Oh, and a cheesecake. That's should... my favorite thing in the whole world. What kind of cheesecake? Doesn't matter. Key lime. I don't know. I'm just saying that. Isn't that a key lime pie? Mm -mm. Or are you quite you no key lime pie a is key like lime cheesecake. I've never had one. And... Oh. Okay. Well. Where do you get that? At some from? point, we're gonna return the the favor, and I'm gonna cook for you. No, Pink, you're gonna be my best friend. Great. Okay. Which great. means you're having a key lime cheesecake. Okay, that's perfect. <laughs> 
Uh, perfect. Just need the sauce of the okay. Okay, oh, great. it's delicious. Fine. You've had a hard day's oh. promo. How's it been being in Blighty? Do you like it here in London? I do, I love You're it. You're going to be here in the summer. I, I can't know, wait. I the it. carnival. Willow is so excited really? to come back to London. Oh, my God. She goes... Mom, can we go to Harvey Nicks and go to Go Sushi, the conveyor belt oh, one? Yo I'm sushi. like, oh, yeah, that's, bless. oh, go, I said Go Sushi. It's Yo Sushi. Yeah, Yo it's Sushi. It's her favorite thing in the whole world. But it's quite good fun, isn't it? It's, yeah, I mean. It's not the best it's not sushi, the thing that you, you get should look forward to. It goes around, darling. It's so exciting. It's exciting. It's going to be less exciting because she's not six, but Jameson will love it. Does he eat sushi? They eat everything. Oysters, so sushi, jealous. caviar. My kids. Yeah, but I don't give my kids a choice. We have, I mean, I give them a choice, but we have a rule in our family mm. that you have to try everything once, and then if you never try it again, that's on you. So, okay, Last Supper. Oh, a, yeah. you got a I, I started. I started with cheesecake. Starter, main, dessert, drink of choice. You went straight in. For the person that says they're a salty carb kind of gal, know, you went I into just, a cheesecake. Now you got to know this about me if we're going to be best friends. <laughs> It just depends on the minute. You're hot and cold. <laughs> you don't know. Wait, okay, fine. So we're starting with the cheesecake. That's our appetizer. Right, lovely. <laughs> um, What's your favorite cheese? Mimolette. I don't know that. It's orange. It's a hard cheese from France. I'm going to tell you how it's made, but it's one of those things that if you told your kid how it's made, you wouldn't eat it. So please don't let this stop you. Okay. Because I'm not super into mites either. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> But it's made with mites. How? Mm. I'm not totally sure. And it's still your favorite? I'm not totally sure the story's true either. It's just what I heard. It's delicious. Mmm. That's so hard. Okay, don't think of it as a morbid thing. It's like you're going off it's for... It's like the last thing I get to taste. No. No, before going somewhere for, for a very long time. For six months. You're, oh, okay. Don't, don't get okay, worried Okay, then I want it. non bread. Okay. I want naan bread. I want uh, like a green coconut curry mm. with chicken or tofu. Mm. And then I want maybe a little sushi on the side. Yeah. Where's your sushi place that you go to in America? Um, or is it a secret? No. I, well, Venice Beach, Hama, Hama Sushi, but it's like a shitty little but you love dive. It. I love it. Okay. Do you live near Venice? I do. Sometimes. Sometimes. And, but what I was going to say, Pink, was Alicia... Sorry, best friend. Um, um, in your documentary, it was so wonderful because you had, I mean, you, you put on such a show and I can't wait to see you in Hyde Park. Thanks. I can't wait. I'm so excited. Um, yeah, I want to come. It's um, not just, it, uh, it's the carnival. Explain to everybody who hasn't seen a pink show what oh, they gosh. can expect. Oh man, I have the, first of all, I have to say, I have the best crew in the world. I have the best dancers and the best band, I think, living. And we're like a group of, people that prove that diversity and inclusivity and, and, and different ideals and backgrounds can work really, really well together. And they're just the best of the best. So I always tell people, when you get sick of me, you can look anywhere else and you will see the best of the best. So I'm very, very proud of my team. And, and they've been with you forever, right? Mostly forever. And also, I grew up singing classic like classically trained singer phantom of the opera les mis kind of thing so it's almost broadway theater cirque du soleil rock and roll rock show because i have all the smoke and mirrors and i have the stunts and the gags and i can fly through the air but at the end of the day you have to be able to strip all of the stunts and all the shit away and it has to be musically and sonically perfect. It has to be beautiful. It has to be about the music. So we have acoustic sections. And I don't know. It's just really fun. Do you do acrobatics? I do. Damn right she does. I do. You definitely watched the wrong documentary. <laughs> I know that you do that. <laughs> the, the gossipy stylus. <laughs> How weird is that? That's very... You, Sam, definitely told me it was on Netflix. Well, my husband's stupid. Because he said, you know, I just thought <laughs> ah, she was so amazing. Oh, you love is universal. <laughs> when you go on holiday, there is no finer achievement than doing absolutely nothing. Nothing on the beach, nothing by the pool. Walking kind of nowhere. 
and chatting about nothing. As an Expedia member, you can save up to 30% when you add a hotel to your flight. So you can have a bit more money to go out there with great ambition to do absolutely nothing. Expedia. Made to travel. Did you have a baby during the pandemic? And have you claimed your child benefit? If not, you could be missing out on more than £1,000 per year. To find out more, including how to claim, go to gov.uk forward slash child benefit and apply today. This podcast is brought to you by ITVX, the UK's freshest streaming service, where you can stream all episodes of brand new drama, Nolly. Written by the formidable Russell T Davies, who obviously did, uh, well, he's done everything. It's a sin, years and years, Doctor Who, queer as folk. He's now got the ultimate lead. It's Helena Bonham Carter playing an actress. Who I used to watch. Tell the listener more about the actress. Noel Gordon. She used to be in Crossroads. In fact, she was the lady who owned Crossroads, as I remember, the hotel. It was the first motel. It was very, very exciting, you can imagine. It was set in the Midlands where they didn't have very many motels. (laughs) And Noel Gordon was the manager of the hotel or the owner. So this TV show is called Nolly and it's based on Noel Gordon being infamously axed without ceremony without warning no explanation in the boss's words all good things must come to an end there's a complete uniqueness to the story and it's all about female empowerment being past your prime and this huge powerhouse that is nolly and helena bonham carter doing an amazing job at it you can stream free on itvx with thousands of shows and films more news shows for free than anywhere else and now you've got nolly to watch that's an itvx exclusive jess Look how beautiful! Yeah, with the heart on it. Oh! You're good, you. Have you ever seen this TV show called Come Dine With oh, Me? Oh, shut up, no. Jessie. You it. always spoil everything. It's a little Come Dine With Me, but we oh, love her. Piss I, don't know off. I, I love you. It's fantastic. You're so, so envious, darling. I am of my... slightly envious. <laughs> I didn't get to flex my skills. Right, so what Have is you got here? a spoon? Have, do you, would you like some water? There's water there, water. darling. Thank you. Fizzy or still? Do you know that when I pack and I'm by myself, I'll have still, please. When I pack and I'm by myself, I do it. The woman inside of me um, has an English accent. Why? <laughs> I have no idea. I don't know why. why. Do you think women, uh, English women are more like uh, organized or? No, I just am English when I'm packing. Just I don't know why. I don't know where I'm from. It, are you a good packer? I'm a great packer. Are you? I'm a Virgo. I'm a pro packer. Do you use cubes? <gasps> She's Virgo, darling. Do you use cubes? Uh, uh, all my best friends cubes are. Cubes get in the way. Uh, and cubes, actually take up, up more room than they're Hang worth. on. Mm. No, I disagree. Okay, how do you do it then? Hang everything? No. What do you do then? Um, You roll your shirts so they don't get wrinkly. Okay. And then you place them like so. Yes. And then your pants uh, cuff here, cuff here, cuff here, cuff here, cuff here. Everything up top, socks, underwears, bras. Oh, I am a pro packer. How many Except bags? I'm English. <laughs> or I might be Cockney Australian. I'm not totally sure. Is this because you have an affinity mm-hmm. with us Brits mm-hmm. and Australia? Yeah, I think so. Can you taste champagne? Why mm. is pink slightly more <laughs> watery than This mine? is not watery. It it's be. delicious. How dare you? <laughs> this is delicious. You pick on your mom like I pick on... <laughs> Oh, my mom. Well, she's a gay icon now, so I just need to take her down a peg or two. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? This is very delicious. I don't even know what that is, and it's amazing. It's raspberries. It's a raspberry. And cream. <laughs> Thank you. I do appreciate and champagne. it. Thank you. So you just need to put the order in when you're back. When are you Carrie back? walks in my room, and I'm like, I can't fit it. I can't. <laughs> I tell you what, when you're doing... <laughs> Isn't that annoying that Americans doing, do that Are you shit? Hyde Park you're doing? Mm. I will send chicken soup with matzo balls for you. Yes. Chicken soup with what? Matzo balls. What's, oh, matzo balls. Matzo. I thought you said... Matzo. Come on, I thought you said matzo spores. Matzo. spores. No, I was like, matzo. no thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I love you, but no thank you. <laughs> You'll be getting some Lenny's chicken soup and matzo balls. Oh, when we I went on tour together... Soup. Which was more rock and roll than my tours because mum's like, in the bar, Cosmos, everybody! <laughs> um, we, people could go on stage and win a bowl of mum's chicken soup because we talk about it. We gave them so away much. in little 
I want to be like you when, when I'm a little older. <laughs> you do. I do. Don't. I want to be just like you. Well, I think <laughs> Jessie's very tolerant because I don't. I am. I don't think I'm, I'm not a difficult person, but... Um, yeah. Are you needy? You What's happening? I'm, no, She's, I'm not um, difficult. You're not needy. You're assertive. You... And I like what I like, and I can't be bothered with things I don't like anymore. But go But on. you like things. Yeah, I like So my lots mom of says things. I like what I like, but I don't know what that is because oh, okay. she doesn't like anything. <laughs> oh, no, we, we find it. So really you won't be doing a podcast anytime soon. No, nope, not with her. Oh, no. Have we, you thought uh, about doing one with. How do you say his name? Kerry. 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 Oh. Kerry. It's Kerry. 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 Where, <laughs> where did you meet him? I met him at the at X Motocross. Games in no. Philadelphia. Yes. yes. At a contest. That's quite sexy. And you proposed him. I did propose. Were you when a, he was on the track. I did ruin his race. But were you already a pop, <laughs> I ruined his were whole you life. a pop singer by then? Yeah. yeah. So it was pretty big trophy for I him had a, to have. A I had a pink gorgeous. afro at the time. Yeah, I was I was killing the game in my head. Killing the game. <laughs> <laughs> what colour was his hair? Uh, just normal. Just normal. And is he super gorgeous? He's very gorgeous. He's very pretty. He's got us in the in the documentary, which um, I've not seen because I've seen <laughs> no. one that no one else has. He seems, or you edited him this way, mm. um, quite gentle, calm. He's quite quiet. He like, is calm. He's <laughs> horizontal. <laughs> Um, he, he's, he's got a kind Some of gentleness like and calmness. Well, the way I describe it is he's the rock and I'm the murky water around the rock. So when you want to swim in the deep, come in here and swim with me. But if you need just that stable rock that doesn't move. And that's what we need. That's exactly how your relationship is, really. Um, I Have we finished your meal i don't know whether we even i don't okay, think we got the, to the we main got the cheese we oh got we, i think we did coconut curry right coconut curry a dessert a weird meal a lime, bread. A lime. we've got are we having lime. the mites of cheese in there mm, we're having mimolette cheese are we for having sure. a, a cheese board? maybe string cheese and some triscuits what are triscuits <laughs> like a really salty yummy cracker like a ritz cracker no they're more like woven almost like a uh, what do you call those woven chairs? Are they wicker? Rattan. Yeah. They look like that, but they don't taste like that. Biscuits. <laughs> Are you going with a chutney on that? or mm, Just don't string cheese. They do chutney a lot. <laughs> string it's cheese is what your children eat. Yeah, yeah, I do that. like a string cheese. Can okay. I put cottage cheese on the side? No. No. <gasps> Sacrilege. <laughs> so happy. How dare you? That is not rock and roll. Oh, it is. Yeah. With some salt and pepper. You know, yeah. you know Delicious. what? You should have it with Marmite. Is that Marmite? Mm -mm. Oh, it's going so bloody <laughs> Marmite and cottage cheese, that's because when I was always on a diet when I was younger and I'd go to the multi-pace like, su summer club and I was always on a diet so I had cottage cheese and Marmite I sandwiches. Didn't make that for you. you did, Mum, because I was always on a diet. But that wasn't because I wanted Why you to. Why were you no, always on a diet? Because I was a fatty bimbat. So she like, was a big girl. I love my food. You were gorgeous. <laughs> I, was, I was fun. And I like my food, and it's all worked That's out. That's what I say. Yeah. It's all worked Somebody out. Somebody came okay. to me in the uh, grocery store recently, and they were like, how's Blake? And I was like, who's Blake? And they were like, you know, Blake. I was like, oh, you think I'm Gwen Stefani. Oh, oh you're joking. I was like, that's the biggest compliment anyone has <laughs> ever given me. You think I'm tall, beautiful. Did you go along with and it? And thin. <laughs> <laughs> Oh. I was like, Blake's great. Thank you so much for asking, and sir. And you sing country and western with him. Yeah. I was like, wow, you think I'm fashionable. That was a great compliment. That's hysterical. Well, at least you, you get just. I was in a London. To say, well, have you I was in a London baby? club somewhere, and somebody grabbed my arm in a vice grip in the bathroom, and she goes, "Tell me who you are. People are saying that you're somebody." Oh. And I was like, "I we're all somebody." <laughs> and I was like, "Can you please?" Take your fingers off my arm. I'm going to have like a, a mark. Oh my God. Like, I'm but not letting you go until you tell me who you would, are. Would you ever grow your hair? I've tried. And? Did you ever see the movie Gremlins? <laughs> Stop. Do you know the scene where it pops up from behind the movie theater seat with the blonde wig? That's what I look but like. Your hair is so gorgeous. Thank you. Will you ever go pink again? Yeah, I do all the time. So right you're now just like I'm a silver wash. Purple. So you're I like the silver purple. I love it's it. nice. I did a calm story called The Silver Fairy, and so I'm kind of obsessed with silver hair. You did a what story? A calm story? Calm. Oh, calm. Yeah. Isn't Harry Styles 
puts well, everyone to sleep. Yep. So you did a calm I put story. people to sleep. This voice puts people to sleep. I can imagine that. Yeah, I can too. Okay. What's yeah, the good. What's the song that your kids would request you sing to them? Um. Oh, Willow just told me the other day that Wild Hearts Can't Be Broken is her favorite song. And, and Which is you, so awesome because it's such you, a feminist anthem. But will you then be like, okay, let's fucking go and you'll sing it. She won't ask me to sing for her. Oh, right. Okay. But she when okay. we were on tour in Australia, Jameson got hand, foot and mouth disease. That's a fun one. And his fingernails and toenails were falling off and he was covered all over oh, his body Mikey. and sore. So I get off stage and I'm just hanging over the pack and play. I've got my arm on his back. I haven't been able to feel my arm in hours and I'm singing and I think he's finally asleep and I take my hand off and he looks up and he goes, walk me home. And it's 4 a.m. at this point. I go, oh, we're taking requests. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Walk me home in the dead of night. <laughs> it is on my mind. Yeah. I want to meet James. He is always yeah. hilarious. So you're here for like, you're here for four days. Do you have any plans apart from promoting uh, whilst you're here? Have you got any like destinations that you must like go to when you're in London? Apart from having maybe an Indian? Do you like an Indian? You put oh, naan, you put naan bread. Oh, I've been cooking nothing but Indian food for really? a month. My kids are so sick of it. But their favorite is the green coconut curry. Okay. Um, Indian food is my favorite. My best friend who's here just got back from India. Very jealous. Can you get all the spices in? No. You, you should bring some back. I should. That's a good idea. Actually, I've got some spices here that came with that book you can have. Yeah. I love your yeah. mom. I'm glad we're best you friends. <laughs> When do I meet no, the kids? They're very sweet. No, she does this to me. She palms me off with all her shit. No, but that's what she's doing, Alicia. I oh, no, they are good. Chai masala? Yeah. No, these are great. Chai masala. Garam masala, I have that, but I don't know if right. mine's any good. Do you want the chai masala? <gasps> it's sweet, there you go. isn't it? That's fine. And actually, these were given by um, a, a, a really nice, with a really nice <gasps> cookbook. Do you, smell do you want that? the book? Cookbook? Yes, I do. Yes, please. <laughs> He'll be so Oh, my God. You remember his name. You should. Thank you, person. Tangy chili and mango sprinkle that could be good oh yeah Jesus. you'll make use of these my god and i gotta put my glasses on because i'm sent 43 the, he sent all the um mother spices. tongue <gasps> Gertie Gertie Bloyle Bloyle has now yeah has now got, blessed me with the beautiful it is a beautiful, beautiful cookbook. Package. yeah i feel like gertie won't mind that you've literally no. just given pink but your, it's your, signs your, Yes. You he, he came, he came an asshole. No, he came to our... I know, he's lovely. He came but to an event. But he'd be happy that I've so given him it. that it's gone cross Atlantic. It's a beautiful oh cookbook. God, it's gorgeous. But now, it's shouldn't I the... just go get one? No. no we'll get another, another one. We'll Gertie, get another one. Give us another one. Gertie will be really thrilled. And it's a very nice cookbook. Oh. And it's all his okay. nice I'm into look, I'm really these beautiful. glasses with Thank the you. pearls. Yeah, Jeff, you need that. I really crispy okra and honey masala corn that bell puri. Okay, thank you. Tikka tempura scampi. Oh no, I'm about to get fat again. <laughs> no. <laughs> um, what what's left to do for you? I mean, you you tour. You're, you're honestly a queen when, of tour. When I got COVID and my son got sick and the world the the rug was pulled out from underneath all of us and then my father passed away. I distilled life down very, very quickly into what actually matters to me. What do I actually need? Who am I? Who do I want to be? How do I get there? All these real serious life questions. And I realized that actually the only thing that I want is to see my kids grow up and be okay. That's it. That's all I want. Everything else is gravy. And what do I still have left to do? I love touring. I love it. I enjoy it. We have a great time. I have authentic experiences with people in the audience. Mm. We cry together. We let go together. We exercise our demons together. It's freaking magic. I'm lucky to do it. And that's it. That's what I got. I got a really good music family and I got a really good family at home. You're satisfied. I'm never, I mean, <laughs> I mean, yeah, I guess in, in a lot of ways, yes. Do you ever sing karaoke? Uh, yes, I do. I'm so annoying. No one wants to sing karaoke with Why? me. Why? Because you're too good. Because I, I like to sing ballads. Oh, my <laughs> God. Like, you so don't not... stop 
believe in. My, my daughter's like, oh, God, <laughs> you're so annoying. So it's don't stop believing. Don't I stop mean, believing, journey. Or wow. nothing compares to you or greatest love of all, Whitney Houston. Oh. I'm like a total dork. But if I want to be fun and not clear the room, yeah. then I'll do like, if you want it, uh, you got it. Just bust a move by Young MC, I think it is. Do you know that song? I know it. Just but I don't bust know. a move. Okay. You want no, no, no. I know it, but I don't. I, 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 I like that you're willing I'm, to go there with me. I'm, I'm, I, I don't know anything else apart from the chorus. <laughs> yeah, it's good. I think it's good. You was, must have had okay, and <laughs> you must have. You, you've been doing music for what twenty three years. Yes, you were there at the in the golden time of fucking. You know, pop music. Pop music of yeah. uh, you know. You must have had the most ridiculous dinners out. Is there any memorable meal that you've had where you felt you've, you, you know, you've been put in a situation where you're like, hang on, why am I at dinner with this person? I had a weird run in with Jamiroquai. Ooh, who I, I love. Yeah. Me too. I love the music. But he sat in the corner and stared at me all night. And then when I started talking to my manager for the 85th time, he flipped a table and left. No, stop. But there were no words exchanged. And I didn't, wasn't, I'm still not, still not sure what I, what I did. I also had a person come up to me in a bar, uh, sitting across from my husband and go, who do you think he's having sex with besides yourself? Oh, why are people and I was so like, strange? What? <laughs> I was like, um, no, is they himself? All <laughs> I don't know. They're all psychopaths. I was like, are you being cheated on? Is this something you we okay? should talk about? Are you okay? Oh. God. I go, and then by no accident, he didn't know what that person was saying to me, but he saw my face was weird. And he, he goes, hey, I go, hey, he goes, you're so fucking hot. And I go. Oh, <laughs> she just said, you're not. <laughs> no, her husband my, said, Carrie that. said oh, that. Your, your husband Carrie said, said that, not at the that weird exact man. moment. No, it was a woman that said that to me. I was like, why mm, would you do that cool. to another woman? I have no idea. Jealousy. But I get in weird people. T- yeah, people are weird. I love it. I love weird. Do you? I just think it's. I mean, yeah, it's kind of messed up. Have you up. performed at Las Vegas? Yes. A residency? No. Not. Do you think you'd ever do that? I would. Be quite convenient. I would be the best like, Cirque show that Las Vegas ever would. saw. You bloody would. Yeah, you do like the whole challenge. Thing. Yeah. So hang on. Okay, this is something that this, the itch must be scratched. Las Be Las Vegas would be fun because. I have to do things that can travel, but when you don't have to travel, that opens up such a box of fun because you can have water, you can have all these things that you yeah. can't have when you travel, yeah. and it's just there, and it's like, oh, oh. So do you like still a do trapeze? Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. Yep. Are you scared? No. Yes. <laughs> Mum, you've got to, you've got to watch the dog. <laughs> oh, the dog. Not the one you want to come to the show in the summer. Yeah. And you're going to like, your mind is going to be blown. Okay. You'll bring the matzo ball soup. I will. You'll see me fly around. Yeah. I, Please bring your kids I because then my to. kids will have somebody to okay, play with. Yeah. That's, yeah. I honestly, uh, we can show your kids a good time. I yeah. love how instant kids become friends. Yeah. Literally like. <laughs> I know. And then yeah. they just both go that way. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I know. Oh, okay, that was great. But she might be friends with Jameson rather than. No, my daughter will only want to speak to Willow. Okay, oh. she'll be like that. Yeah, but yeah. Well. And Jameson will. Well, maybe Jameson will. I. I, I don't oh, know. Is Willow's ears pierced. Yes. When? Did, how old was she? She was probably seven or eight. Willow well, wants double, do. triple. Like, will you yeah, let her? we can wait on that eventually. Yeah. I. I look. I'd I rather can... take her to get it done the right way because I pierced my own self. So. All of these are pierced. Yourself. I pierced my own nose with a thumbtack. Oh my god! I know your poor mother. Mm, yeah, I'll go with that. Pink Alicia, <laughs> friend. It's been an Thank absolute you treat. So much for feeding me. Such a pleasure. I love your relationship, and it gives me hope. Oh, hope you about what? Just you, the you are with my baby. You are. You you're are smacking it. It's you are fine. the parent that I aspire to be. You oh are, God! No, you're amazing. Darling, I you Sorry, you <laughs> are the parent, Lenny. You are the parent. Thank you for feeding me. <laughs> Such a pleasure. And best of luck with Trustful. Thank you. And can't wait to see you live. Thank you. And we've got a tea towel for you. Oh, that's our bro. Oh, I it's love it. Table manners. And I came in here 
and just cursed up a storm no, and talked is, about know, people. They, they're going for quite a while. I lot still, on if, if you ever hear from Jamiroquai, will you please let me know what was the table I'm thing? I'm going to find that out for you, babe. Don't worry. We're going to find it out. You, you fold the like a dream. You fold like a dream, darling. <laughs> That's why she packs so well. Look, Look at that. you. Fitting it into the luggage tonight. <laughs> <laughs>